Greetings, Keeshlings. Keeshin Prime here, doing another live reaction of One Piece, Chapter 856. Laya! Ah, oh, look at that art. Whoever requested this just wanted Oda to draw weird things. There's a monkey wearing a fedora with a rose on its chest. Is that a rock? I don't know what's in its hat. And Frankie built, well, based on what it said on the bottom of the. Frankie gives a crab bang. Also, it's not a real crab. Bullied by monkeys, a sweet robot bod. CB-09. Battle Crab 9? Okay. And there's whatever that is on the bottom there. They look like homies. And then there's a weird bee. I like the picture, but some elements are weirder than others. <clears throat> okay, they're all on the lookout. Mirror world. Mirrors, uh, do seriously none of you have any information regarding Luffy and Sanji's whereabouts? Well, they're outside, so there's no mirrors there. I just don't see them. I don't think I've seen either of them pass by any time recently. Mm, excuse me. No, they're still using Carrot's picture. What about Sanji's bot? <clears throat> what about Sanji's room? Some weird dude is sleeping in there in place of him. If they're not inside the castle, I do have an idea of where they might be. Oh, Nami's got an idea. There's no mirror that can take us directly there, but I'm thinking of the place where those two fought this morning. Wait. Why don't they just use the shards of mirror that Brulee, like, kind of turned off? Why can't they do that? Because wouldn't that be near Bomb, or at least kind of close to where the meeting spot is? I don't know why I never thought about that. But I guess that would be too easy. What? Luffy and Sanji had a fight. Wait, did I miss something, or did she just kind of inform them offhand? I, I didn't read the last panel. <laughs> There's no mirror to take us there directly, but I'm thinking the place where those two fought this morning. Sorry. Well, had Luffy and Sanji fought, or had a fight, and some, aw, Chopper's crying. Sanji himself must have come here for some important role he had to fulfill as a vin smoke. I doubt it'll be easy to convince him to return. Jimbe just looks tired the way his eyes have been the last few chapters. However, this is precisely the plan we have, uh, or we must make haste. I was planning on telling you all about, uh, all after we had everyone back in here, but the truth is, if we let the wedding ceremony occur tomorrow, it will be n no mere ceremony to say the least. Huh? Wait, he knows about the plan then? <laughs> So what, they're going to be filled in? You all came here with Peckham's, correct? Oh, Peckham's, we end up getting separated. But is he okay? He's alright now, however, before... Oh, so those were Jim Bay's whale shark buddies. Maybe. He was about to meet his doom through a certain plot that he was a part of. If we hadn't noticed this, he would have been dead by now. And... Pedro is just kind of like, what, my bro, what? Uh, or at least that's the face he kind of made. His cigarette almost fell out of his mouth. Uh, sweet city. Bark, bark. You hear a gunshot? Or, uh, well, it's raining too hard to quite tell. I do hear a barking dog, though. Uh-oh. Boy. Bobbins has seen... Sometimes. He, he's really struggling now. He's using his sword as a cane. Damn. Ah, those bastards. Bark, bark. Oh, he fell over. Thud. Bobbing go boom. Anyway. Ah, sixth floor. Bomb guest room. Bomb. What that? Huh? Mm, excuse me. Uh, are you all even hum hick? Oh my god, uh, the Vin Smoke's 
drank all the barmaids under the table. Pathetic. These girls all work at a bar. Why are they falling over from this weak alcohol? If they're gonna get a, if they're gonna get us girls, it would have preferred that one chick Sanji's friends with. Oh, wait, and that's Yanji talking. So he he likes Nami. I know exactly. What or I know exactly what you mean. That Nami chick, right? Her lion personality is definitely my type. Well, that's Niji saying that. I heard that they've captured her, so maybe tomorrow I'll see her if I can bargain to get it, or bargain to have it for ourselves. It's a telesized it. They're referring to Nami or something else. Or am I being oblivious to something that's obvious? And Judge is just down and. I'm, the, I don't know if that's a full size barrel given his size I guess so uh, but there's like smaller what is it called a cask well then let's give the drinking a little rest shall we if there's any time we must party it'll be tomorrow night Now that Big Mom is on our side, Germa will finally rise to enough power to conquer the North Blue once more. Tomorrow is a big day for us, and this is but a mere or this is but a pregame to the real deal. If you think about it, that failure of ours has managed to come to use for us. True that, we really managed to gesture in an enormous or gesture in capture an enormous fish with Sanji as the bait mm. oh god if Big Mom heard that you guys would be dead right now yeah once our army can proudly display Big Mom's Jolly Roger on our ships our enemies will lose all will to fight We'll be able to conquer the seas with more power than we've ever had before. Let's all thank Sanji for his contribution. Well, I guess they're, at least they're happy that Sanji's actually done something for them. They don't really care about Sanji regardless. Ha! Ah, to the failure! To the dud! Cheers! <clears throat> oh, crap. There's two homies in that room. There's a barrel and then there's a heart on the wall. And they're kind of like, mm, not going according to plan. We better report to Big Mom. <laughs> In front of the Vin Smoke guest room. <coughs> mm. Mm. Don't let any of the Vin Smokes contact a single person between now and the ceremony tomorrow. Roger. We've finished positioning some of our soldiers around the infirmary where Reiju, the eldest sibling, is located as well. The Vin Smokes now have no option but to patiently wait for their fate. Quit blabbing, idiot jeez. Ah, Mont Dor. He's just, wait, what's up with the, I guess when any of the chests army talks on a dindin mushi it kind of takes on just a checkered pattern pattern okay so everyone's asleep Reiju's kind of thinking she's like I'm not going down without a fight kind of look but I don't know she seems resolved to that and the outskirts of the town okay god son god Luffy looks like an old man Sanji better feed him quick Oh, the dog must have got to the basket. It's buffed. Oh, Luffy smells it. He opens his eyes. Fendi. I never told you to wait. Flashback. Hurry up and get out of my sight. I refuse. She she she. If you can, if you think you can eat. 
good. I dropped it in on, or I dropped it in on the way, and it got all messed up. God, it did get messed up. It even got rained on. What a failure of a meal, am I right? He's happy to eat it regardless. Mmm, delicious. Well, you can speak normal words now. This is great. Incredibly delicious. He's starting to look more like Luffy. <laughs> you even put all our favorite foods in here. Yum. So good. You liar. What? Ah, what a meal. I was able to completely prune, or I was about to completely prune up. You're done eating now. Leave. Oh, wait. He just did that to make Luffy leave the island? What are you saying? Come with me. Number one. I disrespected and injured my own captain to the best of my ability, despite the fact that you came here to save me. This is why I can no longer have the right to return to your ship. Hey, Usopp did it too. <laughs> And technically Nami as well, though she wasn't officially joined the crew yet at that point. Number two, my greatest saviors, the shitty Gramps you already met and his crew from back where I was raised, are all being held hostage right now in case I screw up somehow. That's why there's no way I can run from the wedding ceremony tomorrow. Number three, my bloody family has been framed by Big Mom. In a few hours from now, they'll all be killed. How is that being framed? <laughs> I have no uh, obligation towards them, and they're definitely all rotten to the core, but I don't ha have it in me to let them die off either. In conclusion, these are the three reasons I can't go back with you. Three reasons, Sanji. Three. It's a theme. If you understand, please leave now. Boy, Luffy's getting pissed. Oh, now he's actually fighting back. <laughs> Boy, he gave him a good one. Bah. He hit King Bomb. Bomb's already dead. <laughs> Leave the poor dude alone. Gah, wheeze, wheeze. Nope, they're glaring. Tell me the damn truth. Pant, pant. Okay. Flashback. Sanji, food. Hurry up and cook us something. No, he's remembering good times. We picked at the ingredients. Uh, or who picked at the ingredients? Oh, so they've been raiding the kitchen. Yeah, he's remembering his dad and Big Mom. Luffy, I, I want to go home to Sunny. God, it's Robin all over again, isn't it? Is this going to happen to every Straw Hat member? I, I doubt it, but... I just can't find the strength to run away from here. Once the ceremony begins, there's no way in hell I'll be able to stop everything on my own. But I somehow will still want to save those scumbags. That I don't even think of as my family. Ugh. Yeah. I mean, that's just you, isn't it? Mm. Aw. We're here for you. Let's wreck that wedding together. Aw, oh, and it's gonna be on break next week. Oh well. But presumably the wedding starts after the break. Dun 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 dun. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, uh, starting this week, I'll be doing reviews. I who knows how well it'll go. So, kind of look forward to that later on. Um, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Keeshlings roll out.